In this video I'm going to show you how you can specify a layout theme for your site. Let's take a look at a couple of existing sites. This is one example. You can see that it has a specific header, a certain style which means uh, for example font, color, margins, width and so on. And it also has a footer at the bottom. Here is another example. Look a bit different. And here is a third example which looks completely different. But they can all be created with Part of One using different layout themes. And now I'm going to show you how to set up a layout theme in the back end, in the studio environment. So we go into Content, Layout Themes. And in this specific site there are three different layout themes defined. Layout theme 1, 2 and another one called MTS. You can define as many as you like. Each layout theme consists of a header, footer and a style. So if I go into layout theme 1, which happens to be the default layout theme, you can see it here. And you can also see that it has been selected here as the default theme. So if you don't specify a specific theme on a certain page, then the pages will all be uh, using the same layout theme, the default one. So let's look at this layout theme. It has a header defined. So one of the three headers here has been selected as uh, the default header. The same thing with footer and with style. So these are the three components that build up the layout theme. So let's go in and take a look at the header, how you can set that up. I pick the first one here and take a look at how it's built up. You can see that it's the, the standard layout editor and uh, the header here consists of a login section up in the right corner. You have a logotype, you have a search box in the middle and you have a link to your favorite products. And at the bottom of the header you have the menu section. So this is how you build up uh, one part or one component of the layout themes. If we take a look at the site again you can see that it has the login, it has uh, the logotype, the search box, and it has the menu here, exactly as you can see in the header. And the footer is built up the same way, using the layout editor. And typically a footer will only consist of a number of content units, uh, with links to uh, maybe to social media or maybe your address contact details. And the third component, the style, is what we call the CSS. And this is CSS code controlling uh, the visual components of the site. Color, font, width, uh, si button uh, type and, and so on. All the things that you can set up using CSS. And there are two different CSS. One is the common CSS definition, which is read-only because this is the standard CSS delivered with a, with a solution. So you can't change here. But you can override the settings in the standard CSS using your custom CSS. So under the main tab, you have a CSS area where you can add your own changes. So this is how you customize your uh, look and feel on your site. So this is basically all you need to know about setting up a layout theme. Um, and the next thing is how to connect the layout theme to a certain page. If we take the start page for example, we can go into a certain page here and take a look. And we can see that this page has no specific layout theme defined. It has only a link to the default layout theme. This means that when you, when you load the start page, it will use the default layout theme. But if you would like to have a specific layout theme for this specific page, 
then you can actually go in here and click and pick another layout theme to be used for this page when it's displayed. So now all the other pages will be using this, the default layout theme, but this specific page will use another layout theme. So if you have these requirements, then you can go in and, and tailor uh, the look and feel for individual pages. But the, the normal way is to use one single layout theme throughout the site. So I will go back and reset this. And as you can see, you can uncheck the radio button. And now it's using the, the default layout theme again. 